गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज धर्मेश के चौहान ओके एंड आई विल टेक योर केमिस्ट्री प्रैक्टिकल सो इन इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड यू ऑल नो अबाउट एसिड बेस ओके सो इन इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड वी विल स्टार्ट विथ एसिड बेस टाइट्रेशन ओके सो यू ऑल नो अबाउट डेफिनेशन ऑफ एन एसिड एसिड इज अ कंपाउंड विच कैन प्रोड्यूस एच प्लस आयन इन इट्स एक्वियस सोल्यूशन सो वी कैन से इट इज एसिड ओके नाउ सेम वे बेस बेस इज अ कंपाउंड विच कैन प्रोड्यूस ओ एच माइनस आयन इन इट्स एक्वियस सोल्यूशन सो वी कैन से इट इज बेस ओके नाउ इन एसिड एंड बेस देर आर टू पार्ट वन इज स्ट्रॉन्ग एसिड एंड सेकेंड वन इज वीक एसिड सेम वे इन बेस देर इज वन इज स्ट्रॉन्ग बेस एंड सेकेंड वन इज वीक बेस ओके नाउ एवरी वन लुक हेयर हेयर इज अ एग्जाम्पल ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग एसिड ओके स्ट्रॉन्ग एसिड मीन्स एग्जाम्पल एच सी एल एच एन ओ थ्री एंड एच टू एस ओ फोर हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड नाइट्रिक एसिड एंड सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड ओके ना वीक एसिड वीक एसिड एग्जाम्पल एसिडिक एसिड एंड ऑक्सलिक एसिड ओके सेम वे स्ट्रॉन्ग बेस सो एन एओ एच एंड के ओ एच दे आर स्ट्रॉन्ग बेस एंड वीक बेस एन ए टू सी ओ थ्री के टू सी ओ थ्री एन ए एच सी ओ थ्री के एच सी ओ थ्री एन एच फोर ओ एच दे आर वीक बेस क्लियर सो हियर इज अ डेफिनेशन ऑफ एसिड एंड बेस स्ट्रॉन्ग एसिड स्ट्रॉन्ग बेस वीक एसिड एंड वीक बेस क्लियर ओके सो नाउ हियर वन मोर थिंग एसिड बेस टाइट्रेशन Now, what is volumetric analysis? Okay, so here is the definition of volumetric analysis. Volumetric analysis is a quantitative analysis in which the substance of dissolved state are determined by the measurement of volume of the solution into the reaction. This is the definition of volumetric analysis. okay now 11 standard we will perform with acid base titration okay so first of all here is a some uh, part of uh, glassware one is a conical flask okay long neck 250 ml conical flask is here okay second one is a pipet so here is a pipet 10 ml pipet we are using in a lab 10 ml pipet 250 ml conical flask okay then here is your beaker set 100 ml beaker and 250 ml beaker also here is a funnel okay this is your funnel now we are using here burette burette also so everyone look here here is your burette 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 stand okay and here is your glass tile set whole set burette uh, in burette zero minus plus to 50 ml burette is here okay now in burette here is your your rubber tubing part okay now <coughs> there are two part of burette one is pinch cock burette and second one is stock cock burette okay now here is a rubber part so <coughs> we'll say this is rubber tubing burette okay or pinch cock burette in lab we are using pinch cock burette now after glass well we will discuss about capital n and capital m now what is capital n symbol of normality okay and capital m 
symbol of molarity now what is normality so normality of the solution is the number of gram equivalent weight dissolved per liter at a room temperature it is normality or normal solution okay now second one is molarity what is molarity so molarity of the solution is the number of moles dissolved per liter at a room temperature so we can say it is molarity or capital m so here is your normality and molarity now next topic is calibrated apparatus and non calibrated apparatus okay so what is calibrated apparatus for example bure and ipet are calibrated apparatus okay and what is non calibrated apparatus so 250 ml beaker 100 ml beaker cylinder they are non calibrated apparatus okay now we will take accurate solution of 50 ml through calibrated apparatus clear okay and what is non calibrated apparatus so we can take approximate solution not a accurate clear we will take or we will use non calibrated apparatus for taking approximate solution okay in calibrated apparatus we will take accurate solution that's why here is a two part calibrated apparatus and non calibrated apparatus burette and pipette are calibrated apparatus and conical flask Uh, beaker 250 ml beaker 100 ml beaker okay measuring cylinder they are non calibrated apparatus only burette and pipette they are calibrated apparatus so here is a part of calibrated apparatus and non calibrated apparatus okay now here is one more in case of colored solution and colorless solution okay now listen in 11th standard all solutions are colorless okay so we will take here lower manistas and in case of colored solution we will take upper manistas now here is a manistas system upper manistas system and lower manistas system okay in case of colorless solution we will take lower manistas and in case of colored solution we will take upper meniscus so here is your pipette here is your scale clear and here is a large part now figure is this type this is sleeping line is a upper meniscus sleeping line is a upper meniscus and this is a half circle half circle is a lower meniscus okay so here is a two part of meniscus system upper meniscus and lower meniscus now friends here is a more two topic first one basicity of an acid okay and second one is acidity of a base now look here what is basicity of an acid so basicity of an acid is the number of replaceable hydrogen ion in an acid so we can say basicity of an acid for example here is a sulfuric acid example in sulfuric acid here is a uh, here is a mole one okay number of mole is a one but after reaction here is the number of moles two clear twice as so number of mole is a 2 after reaction so here basicity of an acid of sulfuric acid is a 2 clear now acidity of a base here is the acidity of a base what is acidity of a base so listen 
acidity of a base is the number of replaceable hydroxyl ion or OH minus ion. So we can say acidity of a base. For example, in case of NaOH, clear? In NaOH, number of moles is a one <coughs> before reaction and after reaction. Here is also one mole. So acidity of a base of NaOH and its a number of mole is one. Clear? So here is a topic basicity of an acid and acidity of a base. Now next step <coughs> when we fill up base solution. Listen to me carefully. <coughs> when we take base solution in a burette, we fill up base solution in burette. So we will use phenolphthalene indicator in a titration. Okay, your new topic. And when we fill up our burette with acid solution, okay, acid in a burette, then we will use methyl orange as an indicator. So we will use two indicators phenolphthalein indicator and methyl orange indicator in our acid based titration. So here is the two indicator. First one is a phenolphthalein indicator. First one. Okay. And here is your orange color methyl orange indicator. So in titration we will use in acid based titration we will use two indicators. One is phenolphthalein indicator and second one is methyl orange indicator.